erudition. They uh, continue to update the expanded galaxy mod, EGM. Um, it was a mod that was first introduced back in, well, back for the original Mass Effect 3. As far as I know, they completely had it finished. As far as I know, I, I'm not part of the mod development team, so I have no idea. But there are some, some options, and the Legendary Edition that aren't implemented yet. One of which is the uh, that uh, relation scene. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Okay. Hey, Steve. Um, I don't know if you, uh, if I was saying something and I got cut off. Um, anyway. I, there was an issue with the mod. I had to reinstall it. Anyway, let's continue on. What you doing, Steve? You finally made it off to Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. Yeah. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive, and that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Yeah. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. I gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. I'm glad. I'm glad, Cortez. Terry 
Guardian State Arms. Well, I followed your advice. What do you think of my new look? It's very nice. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't seem like me, but I guess that's the point. Kelly Chambers is no more. Citadel Records now show me as Felicia Hannigan of the mining vessel Typhoon. Pleased to meet you, Felicia. No, you can call me Kelly. These refugees have no place to go. I wouldn't move faster if the storm actually increased speed. This doesn't feel like it does at all. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. Tell me about it. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. <clears throat> if he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. I found these on a corpse on Benning. I think they belong to your son. Ah. Yes, it's... What I was afraid of. His mates. They looked like men drinking for a lost friend. We can mourn him now. Thank you, my friend. Using Hades Gamma as a staging area, Reaper forces have rapidly I'm sorry. expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters. Cerberus bastards. Humanity has suffered a heavy blow as Arcturus Station Oh, hello, ma'am. Ma'am? We've had this discussion, young lady. You're to call me Teresa. Maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch. What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. Second on Nadina. The cunts. 
vessel to save their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? That is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all their worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Thanks. I should go. I'll be here. Ooh. Fucking... Go down here, turn the knees, then let's uh, I found this metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital. Some place I'm secure. I could have a gun back, right? And no humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. We don't trust them. No, it's not that. How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. And the enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them. Big ones. And we were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts. And it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans give me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commander. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. And she's saying she wants to be a pilot. I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use the shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks? 
probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. Pretty much, yeah. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. She's got this... Glow. And the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in... She reaches out. Her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farm girls and he just... dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into... liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. Morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night. Hiding from husks of Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun. Those Turian things, you can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming, not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. With a stick. <laughs> so you went back to the farm? We snuck down the hill. We were hungry, filthy. They turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They would cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And the I was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I got within 10 meters of her. I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints. That's when they all started screaming. The prisoners were indoctrinated. I think. And once the alarm was sounded, and I was eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. The humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics, flung them around. I had been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but God, I ripped them in half. It felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. I might have killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them. And I... And you survived. We tried to run, again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl? Her leg was broken. She leaned back. I knocked down a wall in a barn with a big war field. I'm so proud of that. And we hid. They must have searched for you. I'm an Asari huntress. No damn husk is gonna find me unless I let it. But the farm girl who was with you? Her leg was broken. She was whimpering in the eye. I saw her through a hole in the woods. She was coming closer with those dead black eyes. And Hillary, the farm girl, she couldn't stop crying. They were gonna hear. What did you do? What do you think? Fuck it. Yeah. I really need to upgrade my PC. I can't do that though with the lack of money. Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. So, where's Grunt? Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar frontier is safe. 
Yes, you expect to see again for the heavy blow. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. But when I ship out, thank you very much for the time. I have some bad news. Your squad applied the metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. You can replace my leg, right? Yes, but clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Okay, I need surgery, but when can I get back to the front? You're not. What? You have extensive nerve damage. Once we remove the leg, we can't install a prosthetic for at least five weeks. I told my squad I'd fly back next week. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. I'm not sitting out this war in a bed. Lieutenant, listen to me. If you go back with a missing limb, you'll just be a burden to your squad mates. I'd never drag down my team. Then the greatest favor you can do them is to rest after your operation. You mean when you slice my leg off? May I recommend an hour with our psychiatrist? Even with modern treatment, losing a limb is traumatic. I'll think about it. Ah, fucking hell. You sure know how to show a Krogan a good time. You're my hero, Grunt. <laughs> I'm glad for the part. I'm glad that he survived. Yeah, when I. The first time I played this ga game. And, I, and when Grunt went over the edge, I cried. I was crying. I didn't want to lose Grunt. I didn't want to lose Grunt. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Thank you, you know, for the best thing Kanala about Exports. this trilogy? I may. I may have said this before, but I feel all the victories, all the defeats. All the happiness and sadness. When I lose a squad, I... When I lose a squad member. Even Caden back in M1. I hated it. I was sad because I lost them. Anyway, ain't that it for this one? This may, I may, may or may not. I need. Hang on, let me see if I can find out how long this has been. Uh, recording. Okay, so how long have I been recording? That's what I want to know. Recordings. I don't want to... Okay, so I can't find out how long I have. Unless I stop a recording and check my file. What 
I'll do that. Okay, I it's about one day, four minutes in with the two minute video of when I had to get out. And that's going to be doing that for sure. It's going to be doing it today for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.